Pardon me. More tea, Vicar. Hey YouTube, X42708 here, and a uh, quick pickups video for you. Uh, went into town late yesterday, and uh, also again today, and uh, come back with a couple of uh, couple of bags of games. So let's share with you. First of all, guys, this is what I brought yesterday. So blockbusters. All right, and first up, guys, we have. As you can see, three for ten pounds, so fifty cent bulletproof. Heard it's supposed to be quite a good game this one, so complete with uh, disc and manual. Next one, guys. Bit of a punt on this one. Not played this series before, uh, but you know, three for ten pounds. Figured I'd give it a try. Not much to lose. Uh, so we have Soldier of Fortune Gold Edition. I think, yeah, Gold Edition. So, and that again is complete with the, let's have a look, yeah, with the literature and the uh, instruction manual and the disc. So that was that one. And then the main one that I went in for, sadly, you know, it's my, uh, you know, big um, hobby of mine watching it anyway, is the uh, PDC World Championship Darts. Um, so I've, I've seen there's also another PDC one on PlayStation 2 which I think is PDC Darts 2008, so I'm not too sure what the differences are between the two, but, you know, three for £10, I figured I'd give this one a try. Um, I actually put this one on last night, and it's not too bad, actually. It's quite uh, quite a good dance game, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, you know, not, uh, you know, money, money quite well spent. So, three for £10, guys, in Blockbusters. And then, today, went into town and called into Granger Games. So we have all right. First one, guys. I think I've played this one on Dreamcast before. So we have Fur Fighters Vigo's Revenge. So I'm sure I played Fur Fighters, as I say, on Dreamcast, and uh, it was a pretty good game. So hoping the uh, PS2 equivalent to be quite good. Uh, I'm not checking these yet, so let's hope. Here we go. Right, so that's complete with the disc and manual. And as you can see from the price there, guys, that was just £3. So it's quite a, quite a good price. Uh, next up, guys, again, PlayStation 2 is Max Payne. I think I um, played this one back in the day on PC, so again, looking forward to uh, how the PlayStation 2 one looks. So there you go, complete with the uh, disc and manual. And again guys, that's just £2. Next one, I'm a big fan of the TV series, so I'm hoping that, uh, that the game is semi-decent. So we have 24 the game. Although the picture of Tony Almeida there guys, I don't know if you can see that he looks to be a right porker whereas you know in the tv series he, he's not so looks so he's obviously put a bit of weight on for the game uh but uh, you know I've, I've heard mixed things about the game so you know let me know your thoughts guys and uh, all being well i'll crack this one on in the next day or two and uh, find out for myself so again that was complete there with um disc and manual and annoyingly the bloody centerpiece there guys is the Big orange Granger Games sticker. So not only do they have these stickers here, which can be a pain in the ass to get rid of, they've also started by the look of it sticking it on the discs themselves. So that uh, that should be fun. But yeah, four pound guys. So figured I'd give that a try. And the Billy Bargain guys, the original Getaway. As you can see, just one pound. So I think it was only a pound because there wasn't any instructions with it. You know, which isn't the end of the world. So, there you go guys, so uh, just disc in the box there, no manual. So, so those four games there just came to a tenner on uh, PlayStation 2. So, uh, you know, really pleased with those. So, as always guys, let me know your thoughts in, uh, in the comments. And um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll put up another video shortly. Bye for now.